What's going on, y'all? Well, back at you again with another reaction. All right, before I move on to the Shippuden episodes, I am, if you're on the YouTube, I am at least 10 episodes ahead on the Patreon with the full reaction available, of course. So if you want to watch those instead, make sure you look at the links down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, we met Kushina. We met Naruto's mom. And she's a, she's a delight. <laughs> like, here's the thing. Kushina... Tsunade, Shizune, even Hinata, um, all these female characters are, are fine, like, they're, they're written, they're well written, Tsunade's a fucking badass bitch, you know what I'm saying, Hokage, uh, Hinata is, you know, that shy little timid girl that likes the protagonist, you know, you need, you need, you need those in every story, yeah, Shizune um, uh, keeps keeps Tsunade in line. Kushina is female version of Naruto. These the, these female characters are written perfectly fine. I have no problems with them. So why is Sakura written so trash? Is that mean? <laughs> I'm just I just had a realization, obviously, with the help of you guys in the comments. Like, why is her character so bad? Just compared to the other characters that are similar. It's so strange. It's like it was on purpose. <laughs> Low-key, bro. Maybe the, maybe even the writer started to hate Zagara. He just kept going. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Random Sakura hate. We're gonna end that right there. Alright, so, Kushina. She's fucking awesome. Date bane, date bayo. Like, Naruto looks like Minato, his dad. But he, 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 he acts like his mom. That's so wholesome. That's great. She was called the Red Hot Habanero, and of course they showed that little, uh, that little backstory of Minato saving her, which was a simple backstory. Yet it kind of got to me. I don't know why. It was, it was strange. Like I, I, I definitely felt some type of way after watching that backstory. I don't know why. You know, because uh, the backstory, let's be honest, is pretty simple, right? He, he, the damsel in distress. He saves her. Falls in love with him. Boom, 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 boom. Right. But for some reason, that particular backstory, like it got to me. I don't know why. I'm not entirely sure why. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so Naruto uh, met his mom because his mom's spirit was also sealed within the Nine Tail Seal, much like his father's was, right? So she's gonna help him. Um, she's got some strange chain jutsu going on. That's kind of sick, you know. I know. She, I mean, she used to be a ninja too, right? Let's not forget that. She's probably pretty goddamn strong herself. And she's gonna help Naruto hopefully defeat the Nine Tails, or perhaps subdue the Nine Tails enough for Naruto to take enough chakra so he could finally control the Nine Tails power. Right? Very cool. Um, and of course, B is trying to help out as much as he can, fist bumping Naruto and whatnot. But not right now, it's all Naruto and it's all his mom. So, I mean, what, what, what else more I can say? I wanna see if Naruto can, can control it. I hope he can. I know he can. He's Naruto Databayo. You know what I'm saying? That's his last name. <laughs> or should I say his middle name? Naruto Databayo Uzumaki. Boom. Um, but yeah, let's just let's see if he can do it. And we can finally see Naruto use the Nine Tails power like how it was supposed to be used since the beginning of the show. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. These are shipped in episode 247 and 248. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I love him, dude. Yeah, that hatred is gone. After seeing your mama, you get you don't hate me. You don't hate anything. I feel that. Hell yeah. There we go. The Naruto triumphant music. That's what you know is about a Naruto's about a win. <laughs> That's fire. Holy shit. Yeah. 
Yo, that's sick. Damn, the Ninetales is still standing after that. What the fuck? Crazy. And he took another Rasen Shuriken. Yeah. It's a friends and family power, don't you know, Ninetales? You don't know about that. You don't know about about that friends and family. That's the powerful stuff, right? <laughs> what is this? Wait, what? What the fuck is that form? Wait, B didn't turn into that. Reseal. Six pats? Wait, what? Six pats? This age of six pats? Bro, he just resealed the fucking nine tails just like that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, we didn't know that. Bro. <laughs> Yo, they are dropping bombs. What the fuck? That intro to this episode. Hello? Fuck. That's gonna be a bitch to edit. I already know. <laughs> Wait, she was in Jinchuriki before nine before Naruto? Oh my god. Seriously, bro. Man. Alright, well let's hear it. So Damn. Damn. So how did Madara get the get the nine tails out of her like that? Alright, let's fucking see. Kushina? Kushina tells it all. Here we go. So this is this is random, but this whole Jinchuriki thing is kinda of reminding me of Attack on Titan. So I'm like <laughs> For some reason, I'm thinking that, you know, Attack on Titan spoilers, by the way, that these Jinchurikis die after 13 years <laughs> after receiving the Bijou. <laughs> For some reason, I have that instilled in my mind because Attack on Titan is just there, but, you know, that's random, but... True. <laughs> True. I mean, there could be a shitty part of your life, but if you fill the rest of your other parts of your life with, you know, happiness and shit, then it's like that shitty part doesn't even exist. True shit. Jinchuriki <laughs> Childbirth, of course. Fuck. Fucking Madara. Really? Attacking during childbirth? What a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Naruto's parents are actually awesome. I wish I didn't d fucking die. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Shit. At least he's got good genes, though. Wait, so how did Madara find out? I mean, someone snitched, bro. Off rip, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Madara found out that she was having a child, so someone fucking snitched. Who is it? Who is it? I want him out. <laughs> Sasuke! I should have realized that was his mom. That's Sasuke. <laughs> ah, this little shit right here turns into a fucking crazy kid, bro. 
Woo! Shit. Wait, his mask is different. That mask is cooler than the one that he's wearing. Boom. So Naruto was born, and then immediately after this, Madara attacked? What the fuck, man? I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense why the seal would be, you know, most vulnerable at that time. And not only that, the fucking the Judiki would be weak enough. And probably the fucking, you know, the father would be stressed out. And shit like that, right? But damn, that's, that's foul. Attacking during childbirth. That's foul. That's foul, Madara. That's foul. Also, his mask is very cool right now. <laughs> Alright, next episode, y'all. There he goes. The Child of Prophecy. Naruto Databayo Uzumaki. True. Have the mother see it first. True. したばかりで大変だけど、キュービを完全に抑え込むよ。リカ様、たじ。あ。四代目ホカゲミナ。人中力から離れる。まだ、you fuck. As soon as Naruto was born, his life was fucked. <laughs> He is fast, holy shit. Oh! Wow, smooth, holy shit. Fucking smooth sailor, Minato. But what about Kushina? Oh, man. She just gave birth, Madara. Come on, my guy. Damn, like that? Is that easy? Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh wow, he fucking did it. That's fire. That's a fucking Pokemon card right there. <laughs> Wait, that means that that means Kushina is dead. When when you remove a Bijou out of a Jinchuriki, they're dead, right? Fuck. So that's how Kushina died? Oh she's still alive. Wow, what a beast. What a strong bitch! <laughs> That's right, they have good life spans. I mean, that does a real man, though, I'll give you that. Protecting this child, protecting his wife, and now he's about to go fuck that dude up. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Fourth Hokage! Let's fucking go! <laughs> what? Town music? Why? That's an Anbu uniform. That's right, he used to be part of the Anbu. Hmm. Kakashi seems more like an Anbu to me, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Just the way he does shit. That's Itachi with Sasuke. Oh. Damn, that that shit. Oh, that's that there got me. Are you serious? That was actually so fire. Oh man. That got to me right there. I go cap. Oh shit. 
That was good. That was good. He just summoned it right there? Are you serious? Also, his mask is way better now. Why did he change? This is giving me like pain vibes, bro. When Pain attacked the Leaf, they're playing that, you know, town happy music, and then all of a sudden, boom, Nine Tails. Boom, Almighty Push. You know what I'm saying? Pain vibes. Damn, he looks vicious. That's like a comic book. That's kind of fire, I like that. Changing up the animation real quick. Show how, how the Nine Tails destroyed the city of Konoha, or the, the, the village of Konoha. Damn. Damn. Just killing these dudes left and right, man. That's so fire, bro. Like, I can make so many thumbnails off of off of this episode. <laughs> Are you serious? I want to see Minato fight, bro. He, he, he's definitely gonna have to fight Sirius. We haven't seen him fight Sirius yet. The fourth motherfucking Hokage. Damn. Whoa. Wait, what? What the fuck is that? Hello? What did- Wait, that was like Madara's fucking teleportation thing with his eye. Wait, what? What the fuck was that jutsu? It's Madara. Damn. Shit. He, he, he escaped that jutsu? That's kind of crazy. We haven't seen anyone escape from that Madara jutsu yet. So the first, fourth Hokage is a fucking beast, bro. Fourth Hokage versus Madara? I did not expect this to be coming. What? Dude, these episodes. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty good. Oh! Oh, shit! That's so fire. Flying Raijin level 2, bitch. That reminded me of Naruto. But cooler. Yo, Minato was a fucking boss, bro. Was that the first hit? Like the first solid hit we've seen on Madara? Real shit, yo. He's bleeding. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Also, I just realized that white shit... Oh, he marked him! You can mark people, that's right! Dude, Minato's a fucking beast! What the fuck? This dude... Damn. Oh my god. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, hey. Yo, Minato... This dude was a fucking monster, bro. We haven't seen... Have we seen anyone land a hit on Madara? No. I don't think so. That was the legit... He, he, he hit him twice! <laughs> he hit him twice. Damn, that's fire. Damn. I sucks that he died, bro. He would have been so cool to watch throughout the whole series. Oh man, wow. Uh, also, 
before I was interrupted by by Minato's cool move. That white shit, um, we've seen twice that, um, fucking, actually no, we've seen Madara get hit by that poison guy from the Shino clan, or the Aburami clan, and he had to uh, take off his arm before the Danzo fight, right? So that instance, we also saw, um, fucking Madara's hand white, and that was, and, and, and in this fight with Minato, we also saw his hand or his scanner is white and that whiteness reminds me of Zetsu because Zetsu we, we've seen Zetsu do that yeah he turned into like he, he, he liquefies himself and it's the exact same consistency so what does that mean you know hmm hmm what does that mean well if I were to guess this is actually a good theory too I think I have a good theory here so Madara obviously should be dead by now, just because he you can't live that long of your of your age, right? Unless you're doing some kind of uh, immortality jutsu, and I think the immortality jutsu that he may be doing is maybe he's using some of Zetsu. Like let's say let's say Madara's arm is deteriorating because of, he's like fucking tour. There there is a ants on my webcam. What the fuck? That's a first. Sorry, that's random. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, so let's, let's say uh, Madara could be using Zetsu as part of the immortality jutsu, you know, um, that could be it, right? Nah, that seems too loose of a theory, but why, why is, uh, Madara's body parts reminding me of Zetsu? That's the problem. That's the weird thing to me. I'll just leave that there. But, I mean, you guys, I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, dude, Minato, what? He landed two fucking solid blows. That flying Raijin shit, it, it, it took away the Bijou Blast away from the city. It, uh, he used it, uh, so he can throw it at someone. And let's say they dodge the, 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 the kunai. Then he can teleport to the kunai and hit them from behind. That's actually such a sick move. How do you even dodge that? Because I know he just, he'll just he'll just hit you from the front, right? Damn. Hey, the yellow flash, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, shit. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. And he marked Madara with... Uh, I guess he can mark whoever he wants with this flying Raijin and teleport to them whenever he wants. That's so sick. Damn, you can't get away from this guy. If you get, if you get touched, you're fucked. Minato's a beast. Damn, bro. Okay. Well, this is the first time we've seen him fight seriously, and goddamn, he's a monster with it. He's a monster with it. I love it. Um, okay, well, so Madara attacked. He basically he. I mean, if I'm if I'm if I'm gonna look at it from a villain's perspective, he attacked at the perfect time, right? The the, the Jinchuriki was giving birth, which means she was weakened, right? And of course, everyone was stressed. I don't know who snitched. I mean, someone either snitched or he's been watching from afar with a Sharingan. Uh, at Kushina's belly to see when she's gonna give birth, right? <laughs> Counting down the days of the nine months. Um, but yeah, so he attacked the childbirth, and because she is part of the um, the Uzumakis, uh, they have long lifespans and they have they they have high vitality, right? So she didn't die like most Inchurikis would after the Bijou was taken from her, which is kind of cool, right? Um, but if I, if I were to guess, that's how she died. Uh, which kind of sucks for Naruto. Damn, Naruto lo oh. Wow. St you know, I remember I said a, a few... Uh, I remember I said when Naruto was talking no jutsu and Sasuke uh, after the Danzo fight, I remember I said Sasuke's life is worse. But looking at this, Naruto legit. The moment Naruto was born, it was all shit. There hasn't been like a single moment in Naruto's life, now that I think about it, that was like normal. The moment he was born, Madara attacked. Imagine. That's pretty shitty. You know? That's pretty fucking shitty. And of course, he lost both of his parents. So. Ugh. Damn. Damn. Yeah, now that I think about it, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's tough because. Both Naruto and Sasuke's cases are fucked up. It's just Naruto was more fucked up in the beginning, but it got better. 
Sasuke's got worse. That's why, that's probably, yeah, that makes sense. That's why I think Sasuke's situation is worse, because it's not getting any better. Even now, Sasuke is, like, fueled with hatred and wants to destroy the whole fucking village, right? Whereas now, Naruto, starting off shitty with no parents and that fucking bijou inside of him, um, now he's, like, you know, he's fucking, he's warm and cuddly, according to Karin, right? So I guess that's why I think Naruto's situation is not as bad as Sasuke, because of how they turned out. Really, that the result, you know? Um, shit, dude. Well, these episodes are pretty fire. <laughs> I love how we got to see Minato, the fourth Hokage, finally fight, and I love the way they did it. You know, he seems like a, he seems like a freaking, he seems like a calm, gentle guy, honestly. But when it comes down to business, he doesn't fuck around, and we've seen that now. He legit went one v one against Madara and landed two, like straight up hits like lethal hits on Madara and marked him. Does that mark last forever? Is it like a tattoo where you can just, you know, eventually scrape away? Or if that mark lasts forever, that means Madara is still marked today, no? With the flying Raijin? Damn. Oh, dude. Wouldn't that be a great jutsu for Naruto to learn? I mean, it's kind of out of, out of his character. He's not really a speedy kind of guy. But I mean, it's his dad's fucking jutsu. And the, the Rasengan was so why can't Naruto learn the if Naruto learns the flying Raijin and that and that and that uh, that flying Raijin tattoo is still on Madara to this day we can use that as a trump card that's fire I hope that happens that's a good that's a good theory I'm throwing that in there I'm throwing that I'm throwing that in the theory box right there Naruto learns the flying Raijin and uses that to fucking teleport uh, behind Madara and hit him from you know when he's not expecting it or before he can cast a permeable jutsu right that's tight all right well obviously i can't wait to watch the next couple episodes to see how um you know this this all goes down um i can already i, I already know the thumbnail i'm gonna use the fucking when the nine tails straight up look straight up pose like a pokemon card and was like Bleh! that's that's thumbnail right there. <laughs> nice all right y'all well I mean, what more can I say? Those episodes were fire. We got to know more about Naruto's mom, Naruto's dad. They were fucking awesome people, and it sucks that they died before Naruto could get could get to know them. But at least he got to know them now. He met he met the spirits of them, which is good enough, you know. And it's just gonna give Naruto that much more motivation to Date Bayo his way to victory, right? So anyway, fire, fire. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video, though. Uh, and if you guys are watching this on the YouTube, I should be 10 episodes ahead on the Patreon with the full reactions available, of course. So if you want to watch those instead, make sure you look at the links down below in the description. Um, other than that, y'all have a good one. Make sure to follow my Twitter at WolfReacts. Um, and if you want to join my Discord server, uh, consider becoming a member and joining the Wolfpack officially. You know what I'm saying? Just scroll down a little bit, click that join button. You'll also get uh, cool loyalty badges and um, uh, cool emojis that you'll be able to use in the YouTube comments and in the live chat when I live stream. And speaking of live stream, I would live stream um, pretty much every day except for Sundays. Now I don't, I don't, I don't upload or live stream on Sundays anymore because six out of seven days is good enough <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, I live stream there right now. I'm playing The Witcher. I should be playing The Witcher right now. I don't know who knows because 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 I'm talking as if I'm talking to the future because you're because if you're on YouTube you're watching this a week later so um, I, I I should I should be playing The Witcher still I was told there was like a hundred hours of gameplay so I should be playing that but in any case I'm having a lot of fun with the live streams you know what I'm saying it's a lot different than recording editing and uploading it's just me playing games hanging out with the chat talking to y'all chill, chilling out so it's pretty fun. Uh, so go check that out if you guys get the chance to and of course if you don't um, if I live stream to where if my live stream times aren't you know catering to your your schedule um, they will be always be archived they will always be archived and you can watch them whenever you want you know what I'm saying so there there is that for you guys to enjoy um, yeah I just want to push out as much uh, as many hours of content as I can you know what I'm saying um, just for y'all and then and I think that's fine anyway uh, so that's gonna be it um, Make sure you like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I can't wait to do it to watch the next couple episodes y'all You know what I'm saying y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace